Peter Dutton, Wikipedia article audio. Peter Craig Dutton, Australian politician, has been a Liberal member of the Australian House of Representatives representing the Division of Dixon, Queensland since the November 2001 federal election when he defeated high-profile sitting Labour member Cheryl Kernot. Dutton was the Minister for Health and the Minister for Sport from September 18, 2013 and Minister for Immigration and Border Protection from December 21, 2014 in the Abbott government. Dutton retained his portfolio in the Turnbull government. On July 18, 2017, he was named Minister for Home Affairs and officially appointed by the Governor-General on the December 19, 2017 to lead the Department of Home Affairs, a newly created portfolio giving him oversight of ASIO, the AFP, and Border Force. He previously served as the Minister for Workforce Participation and Minister for Revenue and Assistant Treasurer in the Howard government. Dutton has been touted as a future Prime Minister. Early Years and Background Dutton was born in the northern Brisbane suburb of Boondall, the eldest of five children, with one brother and three sisters. His mother Elsa Leach worked in childcare and his father Bruce Dutton was a builder. Dutton finished high school at the Anglican St. Paul's School, Bald Hills. In 1988, when Dutton was 18 years old he joined the Young Liberals and became the policy vice-chair of the Bayside Young Liberals the following year. In the same year he ran unsuccessfully as the Liberal candidate against Labour MP Tom Burns in the eastern Brisbane state seat of Lytton. In 1990 Dutton became chair of the Bayside Young Liberals. Early Political Career 2001 to 2013 in government and opposition. Dutton graduated from the Queensland Police Academy in 1990. He worked as a Queensland police officer for nine years, working in the drug squad in suburbs such as Red Hill, Brisbane, in the early 1990s. He also worked in the Sex Offenders Squad and the National Crime Authority. As a second job, he worked with his father in a building business. 2007 Appointment as Shadow Minister for Finance, Competition Policy and Deregulation On leaving the police in 1999 he became a businessman and completed a Bachelor of Business at the Queensland University of Technology. 2008 Stolen Generation Apology Boycott Dutton and his father founded the business Dutton Holdings, which was registered in 2000. Dutton Holdings operated under six different trading and business names. Dutton Holdings bought, renovated, and converted buildings into child care centers, and in 2002 sold three child care centers to the now defunct ABC Learning. ABC Learning continued to pay rent to Dutton Holdings for a commercial lease until at least 2007. Dutton Holdings continues to trade under the name Dutton Building and Development. September 2008, Appointment as Shadow Minister for Health and Aging Dutton married his first wife when he was 22 years of age, however. The marriage ended after a few months. His eldest child, a daughter, was born in 2002 and splits time between her parents in a shared parenting arrangement. In 2003 Dutton married his second wife, Kirili, with whom he has two sons. June 2010, Release of Mental Health Policy Dutton was elected to the division of Dixon at the 2001 election, defeating Labour's Cheryl Kernot. After the 2004 federal election Dutton was appointed to the ministry. He was Minister for Workforce Participation from 2004 to 2006. 
In January 2006 he was appointed Assistant Treasurer and Minister for Revenue. Dutton successfully retained Dixon in the 2007 federal election. 2010 Election 2013 Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme Minister in the Abbott-Turnbull Governments, 2013 Minister for Health Following the 2007 election, Dutton was promoted by Brendan Nelson to the Shadow Cabinet as Shadow Minister for Finance, Competition Policy and Deregulation. In 2008, Dutton chose not to be present in the chamber during the apology to the stolen generations. Dutton defied his leader Brendan Nelson and abstained from joining in the bipartisanly supported apology. He said I regarded it as something which was not going to deliver tangible outcomes to kids who are being raped and tortured in communities in the 21st century. Later. In a 2014 interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, Dutton said he regretted boycotting the apology, I underestimated the symbolic and cultural significance of it. Dutton was appointed as Shadow Minister for Health and Aging by Malcolm Turnbull in September 2008, a position he retained when Tony Abbott became opposition leader. In June 2010, Dutton released the Coalition's Mental Health Policy, the Coalition's Real Action Plan for Better Mental Health. It was described by leading mental health experts as a game-changer and the most significant announcement by any political party in relation to a targeted, evidence-based investment in mental health. Dutton contested and won Dixon at the 2010 federal election achieving a swing of 5.45% to easily overcome a 2009 redistribution. This resulted in a two-party preferred vote of 54.69% as of August 23, 2010. In the lead-up to the 2013 election, Dutton announced a range of coalition policies, including to restore integrity and independence to the Pharmaceutical Benefits Advisory Committee, increase the threshold of cabinet consideration for the listing of medicines on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme, allowing the health minister to list drugs costing less than $20 million a year over the first four years, expedite the rollout of biennial bowel cancer screening for people aged 50 to 74 years. Provide funding certainty and streamline administrative processes for medical research. Provide $35 million for research into type 1 diabetes through the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation Clinical Trial Network. Provide $40 million for additional medical internships in private hospitals and non-traditional settings and provide investment into general practice by doubling the practice incentive payment for teaching and 175 grants to support capital expansion of existing rural and regional general practices. Dutton's election commitments were strongly endorsed by key health stakeholders. The Cancer Council said that Mr. Dutton's promise to finalize the bowel cancer screening program by 2020 would save an additional 35,000 lives over the next 40 years. The Australian Medical Association said the coalition has delivered a strong package of practical, affordable health policies that would strengthen general practice. Medicines Australia welcomed the coalition's commitment to restore transparency, predictability and confidence to the process by which medicines are listed on the pharmaceutical benefits scheme. Dutton retained his seat at the 2013 election. He was appointed to the ministry by former Prime Minister Tony Abbott, and served as Minister for Health and Minister for Sport. As Health Minister, Dutton announced the world-leading $20 billion Medical Research Future Fund. As announced, 
the capital and any ongoing capital gains of the Medical Research Future Fund will be preserved in perpetuity. Under Minister Dutton, projected funding in the health portfolio increased in the 2014-15 budget to $66.9 billion, an increase of 7.5% from $62.2 billion in 2012 to 13, the final full year of the Labour government. Projected expenditure on Medicare increased over 9.5% from $18.5 billion in 2012 to 13 under Labour to a projected $20.32 billion in 2014 to 15 under Dutton. Funding for public hospital services increased by nearly 14% under Dutton in the 2014-15 budget to a projected $15.12 billion compared to $13.28 billion in the last full year of the Labour government in 2012-13. In a 2015 poll by Australian Doctor magazine, Dutton was voted the worst health minister in the last 35 years. On December 23, 2014, Dutton was sworn in as the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection after a cabinet reshuffle. The Migration Act 1958 gives the Minister the power to impose a character test on people requesting visas to enter Australia. In September 2015, Dutton cancelled the visa of anti-abortion activist Troy Newman, over remarks in his 2000 book Their Blood Cries Out. On June 5, 2015, Dutton denied claims made by Greens Senator Sarah Hansen Young that she was spied on during a visit to Nauru. At the same time he called into question her credibility saying she's written to me on some issues which are completely fanciful when you have a look at the facts and she's got a track record of making these things up. He also claimed that what Sarah Hansen Young is about is publicity. She loves the camera and she loves to see her own name in the paper. That's the start and finish of Sarah Hansen Young. Hanson Young responded that Peter Dutton can attack and insult me as much as he likes, but nothing will change the fact that my work has revealed systemic child abuse and the rape of young women on Nauru under his watch. The spying claims were later confirmed by the Immigration Department and Wilson Security who carried out the spying operation. On September 11, 2015, Dutton was overheard on an open microphone, prior to a community meeting on Syrian refugees, joking about the plight of Pacific Island nations facing rising seas from climate change. Dutton initially refused to apologize, saying it was a private conversation, but later apologized. The foreign minister of the Marshall Islands at the time, Tony de Brum, responded by writing t insensitivity knows no bounds in the big polluting island down and the next time waves are battering my home my grandkids are scared, I'll ask Peter Dutton to come over, and we'll see if he is still laughing. Before the 2016 federal election Dutton said of refugees many, won't be numerate or literate in their own language let alone English and these people would be taking Australian jobs. Turnbull defended Dutton by stating he is an outstanding immigration minister. Against a statewide swing against the government of 2.9%, Dutton's margin fell from 6.7% to 1.6%, leaving him with a margin of less than 3,000 votes. In 2016, News Corp Sunday political editor Samantha Maiden wrote a column critical of Jamie Briggs. Dutton drafted a text message to Briggs describing Maiden as a mad fucking witch but inadvertently sent it to Maiden. Maiden accepted an apology from Dutton. In November 2016, Dutton said it was a mistake by the Malcolm Fraser administration to have admitted Lebanese Muslim immigrants. 
Foreign Minister Julie Bishop said Dutton was making a specific point about those charged with terrorism offences. He made it quite clear that he respects and appreciates the contribution that the Lebanese community make in Australia. In March 2017, 31 CEOs signed a letter to Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull calling for a free vote in the Australian Parliament on same-sex marriage. In response to this letter, on March 16, 2017, Dutton said that the CEOs shouldn't shove their views down our throats and that CEOs who were doing the wrong thing should be publicly shamed. Dutton repeated his criticism at a speech to the LNP State Council in Queensland on March 18. Dutton's comments were heavily criticised as an attempt to censor expressions of support for same-sex marriage, with some commenters also accusing him of hypocrisy given his support for changing Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act. Former New South Wales Premier Christina Keneally said that according to Dutton, free speech is great and should be expanded, unless it's an Australian corporate CEO speaking about same-sex marriage. Then they need to shut up. Liberal MPs and Ministers Julie Bishop and Simon Birmingham also expressed disagreement with Dutton's comments. Minister for Immigration on May 9, 2017, a 67-year-old man pushed a pie into the face of Qantas CEO Alan Joyce while Joyce was speaking at a function in Perth. The next day, the assailant confirmed that the attack was to protest Joyce's support for same-sex marriage. Dutton had singled out Joyce in his criticism of pro-same-sex marriage CEOs leading some LGBT advocates to hold him partially responsible for the attack. Dutton condemned the attack on Twitter. On April 15, 2017 shots were fired by the Papua New Guinea Defence Force into the Manus Island Detention Centre. Dutton responded saying there was difficulty, as I understand it, in the community. There was an alleged incident where three asylum seekers were alleged to be leading a local five-year-old boy back toward the facility and there was a lot of angst around that, if you like, within the local PNG community. I think there was concern about why the boy was being led or for what purpose he was being led away back into the regional processing centre. So I think it's fair to say that the mood had elevated quite quickly. I think some of the local residents were quite angry about this particular incident and another alleged sexual assault. However, the regional police commander on Manus Island said a young boy who was 10, not 5, had gone to the centre two weeks earlier to ask for food. He said it's a total separate incident altogether the Greens Senator Nick McKim said Dutton had been caught telling an outrageous lie. This has disturbing echoes of the children overboard affair lies. In a period of less than a week, the community advocacy organization GetUp raised just under $200,000 for a campaign to unseat Dutton at the next election. Dutton responded by saying if GetUp want a fight, they'll get one. On the December 19, 2017, Dutton was appointed the Minister for Home Affairs with responsibilities of overseeing the Department of Home Affairs which was established on the December 20, 2017 by Administrative Arrangement Order. The Home Affairs portfolio is a major rearrangement of national security, law enforcement, emergency management, transport security, border control, and immigration functions. Dutton said that people of Melbourne are scared of going out because of an African gang crisis. On March 2018 Dutton made calls to treat white South African farmers, who are sometimes targets of attacks, as refugees, stating that they need help from a civilized country. However, 
his offer was rejected by Afrikaner civil rights organization Afri Forum, which stated that the future of Afrikaners was in Africa, and was met with regret by the South African Foreign Ministry. The Australian High Commissioner was subsequently summoned by the South African Foreign Ministry, which expressed its offence at Dutton's statements, and demanded a full retraction. His comment got the support from follow MP Steve Siobo, Ian Goodenough, Andrew Hastie, Andrew Laming and Liberal Democrat Senator David Leongelm. 2014 In 1989 Dutton unsuccessfully ran in the Queensland state election against the popular Labour MP Tom Burns in the East Brisbane seat of Lytton. 2015 2015, Immigration Policy September 2015, Rising Seas Joke 2016, Illiterate Immigrants Comment 2016 Election In 2001 Dutton was elected to the Federal Division of Dixon with 9,533 more votes than Labour's incumbent candidate Cheryl Kernot, and he held the seat with a strong margin for successive elections. However, in the 2007 election, there was a large swing against Dutton and he retained the seat with just 217 votes more than Labour's Fiona McNamara. 2016, Mad Fucking Witch Email As the 2010 election approached, it looked like Dutton would lose to the Labour candidate due to a redistribution of division boundaries that had erased his majority and made Dixon notionally Labour. To safeguard himself, Dutton sought pre-selection for the merged Liberal National Party in the safe Liberal seat of McPherson on the Gold Coast. Some constituents complained, the abandoning of a seat by a sitting MP halfway through a parliamentary term to contest pre-selection in a seat over 100 kilometers to the south is not looked upon favorably. Dutton lost the McPherson pre-selection to Karen Andrews, reportedly due to misgivings from former nationals in the area. He then asked the LNP to deliver him a seat for which he doesn't have to fight other pre-selection candidates. Liberal MP Alex Somlii said that Dutton's expectation of an uncontested pre-selection was unusual. When the state executive didn't provide Dutton an unchallenged pre-selection, Dutton reluctantly returned to campaign for the seat of Dixon. 2016, Lebanese Immigration A Mistake Assertion In the 2010 election, Dutton won the seat of Dixon with a large margin of 8,353 votes more than Labour candidate Fiona McNamara and in 2013 Dutton retained the seat of Dixon with 11,530 more votes than Labour candidate Michael Gill Iver. However, Dutton's winning margin narrowed in the 2016 election, he retained the seat of Dixon with 2,911 votes more than Labour candidate Linda Lavarge. In 2017 the Liberal National Party requested that the Australian Electoral Commission redistribute the boundaries of the Dixon electorate in a manner which would benefit Dutton in the next election. The proposed boundary change would add more conservative constituents to Dixon, however, this would remove them from the neighbouring marginal divisions of Longman and Petrie. While it would make it easier for Dutton to win his seat of Dixon, it would make it harder for his neighbouring Liberals to win their own divisions. 2017, Same-Sex Marriage Dutton is aligned with the right-wing, conservative faction of the Liberals. Dutton opposes same-sex marriage. In March 2017 it was reported in the Sydney Morning Herald that Dutton said privately it was inevitable that same-sex marriage would become law in Australia so it would be better for the coalition, rather than Labour, 
to control the process. Dutton's actions publicly have been in opposition to same-sex advocates and the forcefulness of Mr. Dutton's attack on corporate chief executives last week, in which he told them to stick to their knitting, has aroused suspicion among some colleagues who believed he was committed to achieving a breakthrough on. The following month the Daily Telegraph reported that Dutton was asked by a lesbian for clarification on his position and he told her he had been clear that he was against same-sex marriage. In his political career, Dutton has voted very strongly against same-sex marriage. 2017, Immigration Policy Dutton, who owns six properties with his wife, including a shopping center in Townsville, opposes any changes to negative gearing that currently offer tax breaks to property investors, stating that changing it would harm the economy. Dutton is opposed to an Australian Republic. May 2017 Minister for Home Affairs 2018, African Gangs 2018 White South African Farmers Electoral Divisions Lytton, 1989 Failed Attempt Dixon, 2001-2009 Seat Held McPherson, 2009 Failed Pre-Selection Attempt Dixon, 2010-2017 Seat Held Political Views